Let's read short stories with comprehension check for grade 4. The fastest boy. When Kyle's family moved to a new town, Kyle had to leave all of his old friends behind. You will make new friends, his mother told him. But Kyle wasn't so sure. In school, he was very shy. So even though some kids talked to him, Kyle didn't say much back. In the afternoon, after school, he didn't have anyone to play with. So Kyle started running around the neighborhood. Every day, he ran for an hour. Day after day, week after week, Kyle ran. The kids in the neighborhood noticed him. So did Coach Benny. They all said he was the fastest boy they had ever seen. One Saturday, Coach Benny knocked on Kyle's door. Why don't you come with me to soccer club practice today? Kyle, he said. Everyone wants you on their team. I will introduce you to everyone. I thought I was running away from a problem, Kyle told his parents later. But I actually ran towards the answer. Your turn to read, kids. Good job! This time, let's answer the questions from the story. 1. What has just happened to Kyle at the beginning of the story? A. Kyle had to leave his old friends behind. B. Kyle will have a vacation. C. Kyle won't leave. The correct answer is A. Kyle had to leave his old friends behind. Number 2. Why did Kyle have to leave his old friends behind when his family moved? A. His friends didn't want to stay in touch. B. They moved to a different town. 
C. Kyle had a disagreement with his friends. You're right. The correct answer is letter B. They moved to a different town. Number three, how did Kyle feel about making new friends in the new town? A. Excited. B. Confident. C. Unsure. You're right. The correct answer is C. Unsure. Number four, why did Kyle run around the neighborhood every day after school? A. He was trying to avoid talking to other kids. B. He enjoyed running more than playing with kids. C. He wanted to stay fit. You're right. The correct answer is letter A. He was trying to avoid talking to other kids. Number five, what did the kids in the neighborhood and Coach Benny noticed about Kyle? A. He was the tallest boy. B. He was the friendliest boy. C. He was the fastest boy they had ever seen. You're right. The correct answer is letter C. He was the fastest boy they had ever seen. Number six. What does Kyle mean when he says, I thought I was running away from a problem, but I actually run towards the answer. A. Running made him forget about his problems. B. Running helped him find a solution to his loneliness. C. Kyle didn't face any problems. You're right. The correct answer is letter B. Running helped him find a solution to his loneliness. How many scores did you get? Wow, that's a good job. Let's now proceed to the next story. Playing ball. Liana had a new kitten named Smokey. Smokey was gray and white and fluffy and very playful. Liana got Smokey a small ball with a bell inside. When she rolled this ball across the floor, Smokey would run after it, pick it up in his mouth and bring it back to her. One morning, they could not find the little ball. Liana looked and looked, but it was nowhere to be found. Smokey was looking too. Suddenly, he saw something and he pounced on it. It was Liana's mother knitting basket. Smokey picked up a ball of yarn in his mouth, trotted over to Liana, and dropped it at her feet. He looked up at her as if to say, Come on, I found it. Let's play. Your turn to read, kids.
Good job! This time, let's answer the questions from the story. 1. Why did Liana get Smokey a small ball with a bell inside? A. To use as a decoration. B. To train Smokey to fetch. C. To scare away birds. You're right, the correct answer is B. To train Smokey to fetch. Number 2. Why did they look for the little ball one morning? A. It was Smokey's unwanted toy. B. Liana wanted to play with it. C. Liana wanted to give it to a friend. You're right. The correct answer is B. Liana wanted to play with it. Number 3. What did Smokey find instead of the little ball? A. Another toy. B. Liana's mother's knitting basket. C. A mouse. You're right. The correct answer is B. Liana's mother's knitting basket. Number 4. What did Smokey do after finding the ball of yarn? A. He bat it around. B. He ran away with it. C. He dropped it at Liana's feet. You're right. The correct answer is... Sino yun? Tawangin mo si RJ. Gayaan mo na sila. Pasok ka na. Gayaan mo na sila. Magpigad ka. You're right. The correct answer is letter C. He dropped it at Liana's feet. Number 5. What message do you think Smokey was trying to convey to Liana by dropping the ball of yarn at her feet? A. He wanted her to knit for him. B. He found a new toy. C. He wanted to play with the yarn. You're right. The correct answer is letter C. He wanted to play with the yarn. How many scores did you get? Wow, that's a good job! Do not forget to hit the like and subscribe button to be notified on our next episodes. Goodbye kids!